is the smart choice. Sorry, the mayor's busy. Do you have an appointment? Uh, the mayor's doing debate prep. He really can't be disturbed right now. Excuse me, Mr. Wayne? Well, I was really hoping you'd be able to help me out. Who knows, maybe I could return the favor one day. It seems you do have an appointment, Mr. Wayne. Silly me. Bruce Wayne? Finally, you've come to see me. Of course, only after your name's been dragged through the mud. Don't get me wrong, I'm glad to see you. But you're a day late and a great many dollars short. You know, I, I'd actually hoped I'd never have to meet you in person. Then you made a mistake bursting in here. Your father and I, we took this city and made it ours. Falcone too, rest his soul. We built everything we have. You were born with it. A soft boy like you wouldn't understand what it takes to rise to the top. Oh, I understand. Very well. I gave you everything I have on Wayne. I've held up my end of the bargain, and I expect you to do the same. Sounds like me. It is you. So? What's your point? I take it you have one. Or are you just fond of my dulcet tones? You think I'm working with the Penguin and his thugs? I want no part of them. I'm in Cobblepot's crosshairs, same as you. But you fed them dirt on me. Only the files I seized from Wayne Manor. Your father, Falcone, and I, we had ways of getting anything we wanted. How do you think your family got the land for Wayne Tower? Cobblepot wants retribution because we took his family's land. Oswald's family signed it over to us, along with the rest of their assets. Even if that's true, it's no excuse for Cobblepot's crimes. I quite agree. It doesn't hurt to understand your enemy's motives. There's so much more I could share, if only we were friends. I could help you deal with Penguin, let you in on some family history. But I'm caught in a dogfight for my political career, and my rival has bottomless pockets. Now, if that rival were to say, drop out, or his advertising spend were to dry up, I might have a lot more resources for helping a new friend. Not a chance, Hill. I'm not cutting Harvey loose. Well, you dropped on your head. When the mayor of Gotham extends a hand, you take it. I don't need your hand. Not with your voice on tape. You forget who you're talking to. I'm the man that says I never left such and such a message. And all the judges bow their heads and say, yes, sir. I'm the man who sends the police to your house to take your things, and I give them to whoever I please. You're nothing like your father. You'd never have the backbone to do what we did. I'm the heavyweight, Wayne, and you're punching above your weight. Get out of the ring before you get hurt. I would never stoop so low. My backbone doesn't have the bend. Let me put it this way. If that voicemail makes it to the papers, or anywhere else I don't like, I'll turn my commissioner loose on your lieutenant for that fiasco down at the precinct. Gordon? And then I'll turn him on you and Dent for being there. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have a debate to prep for. Get him out of here. You know Harvey is going to embarrass you out there. Dent's campaign is on its last legs. Tonight, it hits the canvas. It's you who's going downhill. And you're not getting back up. Oh, 
Alfred, get a warning to Gordon. Tell him to increase security of the debate. Hill seems to think he's safe, but Penguin's still out there. What else is on here? As per your request, Lieutenant Gordon has tripled security at the debate. Thanks, Alfred. It's a plan of the old Monarch Theater. The auditorium where the debate's being held. Hmm. I hacked into the image feeds from the security cameras at the auditorium. Just to be safe. Just to be safe. Hells, details about your father. They must have been quite upsetting. I can't imagine how you must feel. To learn so much in so little time. To be honest, Alfred, nothing can shock me anymore. Not when it comes to my parents. I wish I felt the same way. But I suppose no good can come from wallowing. The city needs you now more than ever. I'll, uh, I'll leave you to it then. Gotham District Attorney Harvey Dent appears to be hitting some potholes on his path to the mayor's office. Despite the backing of billionaire Bruce Wayne, Rumors persist that the candidate is having trouble paying his campaign staff and making ad buys. A Dent spokesperson said these rumors are nothing more than a smear tactic, perpetuated by the incumbent Mayor Hill's campaign. In other news, nobody goes to Gotham's dive bars expecting a quiet night out. But police say a brawl tonight at the Stack Deck Bar in Otisburg was the rowdiest one in recent memory. Reports say multiple arrests were made, with all the suspects taken into custody while unconscious. Police are seeking an unidentified man and woman who were seen in conversation with the assailants shortly before the fight. Gotham District Attorney Harvey Dent appears to be hitting some potholes on his path to the mayor's office. Despite the backing of billionaire Bruce Wayne, rumors persist that the candidate is having trouble paying his campaign staff and making ad buys. A Dent spokesperson said these rumors are nothing more than a smear tactic, perpetuated by the incumbent Mayor Hill's campaign. In other news, nobody goes to Gotham's dive bars expecting a quiet night out, but police say a brawl tonight at the Stack Deck Bar in... Wait a minute. The images on these cameras haven't changed. Something's wrong. Penguin's men may have commandeered the cameras on their end. We could just be looking at... What they want us to see. Warn Gordon that he may have visitors. I have to get down there. Now. Harvey needs to get out of there. Hey, Bruce. Man, I'm glad you called. I needed to talk to you, actually. Something's come up. Something that's... Well, it's not exactly pleasant. Ha Harvey, listen to me. Your life is in danger. Because of Penguin and his thugs? Thanks, but there is an army of security here. They have me in some back room until the debate begins. For my own protection, they said. A little bit of overkill, if you ask me. It's not overkill, Harvey. It's a real- Please. I need to get this off my chest. Uh, look. Bruce, I didn't want to do this over the phone, but... My advisors are telling me that I need to... <clears throat> that I need to distance myself from you. Until all this mess with your family blows over. They're afraid it's not a very good optic. Ouch, Harvey. Talk about a sucker punch. What with the allegations in the press, and now this mess with Falcone, you're a liability. 
Let's go.